Yeah, I thought it was a, a good, solid performance, uh, start to finish for us. Obviously, we're we're coming out against a very tired and fatigued team. Uh, Fife had played three and three this weekend, and then traveled here this morning. So we we were aware that they were going to be fatigued, and it was going to be a tough night for them. So we wanted to make sure that we started the game well and got on top of them early, so as to speak, to not give them much life at the start. Um, because you know, if you give a team life, then they maybe find that energy that they thought they didn't have. So uh, we certainly wanted to make sure we didn't do that, and um, we wanted to eliminate some of the mistakes in our game that we've previously made, meaning no odd man rushes against. And I thought the guys did a pretty good job of that throughout the entire game. So um, little things that we can build on going into next week. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I think everybody's pretty clear of the position we find ourselves in um, at the start of this season. Um, and I've made my thoughts on that pretty clear. Um, you, you, you know, pile on top of that a, a little bit of fatigue of three and three and coming up against this team that was sitting here waiting for us. Um, you, you know, I thought we competed at times tonight, at times. Um, and, you know, certainly in that first period, um, although there was a decent heavy shot count against us, it wasn't anything incredibly um, threatening in, until, you, you know, we make uh, the, the common mistakes we've been making and one's in the back of our net at the buzzer, and that's in, incredibly frustrating. Obviously, the second period starts out when you, you manage to get a quick goal um, and you were hoping going to get that a bit of momentum. Yeah, I thought it gave us a, a quick boost. And then you see, like, so one of the problems that I run into, I'm sure everybody will see um, the goal. I think a D-man dropped a stick and lacklusterly goes into the corner to go get it. And, um, y you know, at this level of hockey, guys are licking their lips with, with by, by by getting grade-A chances in there. Um, it was at that, that, that point I really kind of recognized it was imperative to uh, – protect our starting goaltender. He'd been awful busy this weekend. Um, I thought uh, young Andy Little uh, gave him a good account of himself in that third period. Um, and it kind of almost looked like, to me, the guys up there, their, their work rate, um, maybe thinking they may get embarrassed or something like that. So, you know, it's clear it's there. It, it's dragging it out of these guys.